jefe. Do you know what a plethora means? Oh, why el wapo, el wapo, yeah, that's me! Hollywood MMA show, that's this show. Me, show. Me, show, me. On the show, go watch the show. You had a, a long day. Was it five fighters? Five fighters. Oh, yeah, we have only one, one, one <laughs> by knockout. And one the rest, the re yeah, but the rest of us all, uh, I think they fought their hearts out. You know, nobody avoid the fight, so it was good. What are your feelings right now? For me, listen, I always tell these guys also, I say, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. You know, this is amateurs right now. This is where you hone your skills and, and see if you can get better. And, uh, you know, and once you feel comfortable, that's when you go start doing pro. But these guys are just, you know, if you, if you fight, you can't lose. I always told them, if you start tapping on strikes, I say, you, you lose respect from everybody. You don't want to do that. For the rest, if you just come back and you just give your heart, you can't lose. So for you, you've had last time you had more fighters win. This time you had less win. But does it take more of a toll on you as as a coach and gym owner? No, 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 absolutely nothing. You know, because uh, if somebody would win, like get beat up real bad and injured, then then I, that would hurt me. But it's a game. It's a game. That's why I got so angry at that one guy when he said he came later to me, apologized. He says, No, no. I said, um, Crank it. But I heard him say, Break, break the arm, break the arm. So when he walked in the cage, I said, Dude. If he would have broken his arm because you said that, you had a problem. You have a problem with me, you know. And then later he came to me and he said, um, you "No, know, I said crank it, crank it." Okay, okay, good. <laughs> At least I said because as a coach, you know, I can expect that from a, a crowd who are not educated. But a coach should never say break the arm or break something. It's it's a game. It's like me shooting hoops with uh, Kobe, which is not a smart idea. Uh, Kobe Bryant, you know, it's a game. You test each other's skills. It's not uh, fighting or violence, what the people see. So so once you. You checked him about it, he retracted the statement? No, he came back to me actually at the end and he said, uh, you know what, I think you misunderstood me. I said, I was crank it, crank it, crank it. I said, well, I heard break it, break the arm, break the arm. So, but you know, I, he says I would never do that. So I believe him, I believe him, of course. So Boss Rutten, the coach, the man. Yeah, but you know what, this is the thing, like in the early days when, you know, I was teaching two times a day on fighters. Now I teach on a Tuesday, on a Thursday. And I just recently started doing the Sunday morning uh, workouts again, you know, so hopefully now with the Sunday morning workouts, you know, some we, we get a little bit more momentum going again. You know, it's just like uh, you, if you if you really need to be a full on coach, you need to be a full on coach. And with your arm healing, was that was that due to some of that too? You just letting your arm heal? Yeah, I'm not allowed to hold pads. I'm not allowed to do anything. You know, it's because all it will affect the neck. And uh, this just started rehabbing. I can actually see and do an uppercut, which I couldn't do for the last two years almost. So that it means that my, my the muscles in my shoulder are start working right now. I feel them I feel them move. And yeah, I see a movement there. So that's a good sign. What do you do generally after the fight now that for a coach? For a coach, nothing. I'm I'm gonna tell everybody great job and then I'm gonna go to In and Out and get two double doubles. <laughs> for real, that's what we always do. Two double doubles? Two double doubles. I love those burgers. Thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Take care. Godspeed, party on. This is your boy Sugar Shot Evans. This is Calvin Gaston. This is Anthony Rumble Johnson. I'm Leodo Machida. And you're watching the Hollywood MMA show. And you're watching the Hollywood MMA show. Watching the Hollywood MMA show. And yeah, you can take the bad look off your face because nobody want to hear him to talk about his son. It's not the movie with uh, Mel Gibson. My son! Yeah, we talk about my son the whole time. And talk about music on the clouds. Your mind is on the, on the clouds. Nobody want to hear that stuff sound like Linkin Park. Cub Swans. Kobe Swans is my boy. Ah, Kobe Swans is my favorite guy.